Wayne is here. We've got some minor weather damage. Yeah, we do. I understand I've had a couple of calls from up around northern Clark County, Indiana, up around Memphis. I understand we have some wires and trees down there. Here's the next rad Doppler radar. Also, I've had a call or two about some power outages out around Iroquois Park and then in portions of Floyd County around Greenville, Indiana. Heaviest activity now moving into Floyd County. Basically, briefly heavy rains. Moving on out of here, huh? Yes. All right, thanks for me. Thanks for watching us. Good night. Who goes out in weather like this? We do. When severe weather threatens, the WHAS 11 storm team is first on the air. Be prepared. For You'll be first to know advance warnings from Doppler and Nexrad radar. You'll see the storm's path from Sky 11 and SATCAM. When the weather's at its worst, we're at our best. Storm team coverage you can count on. Kentucky on his news channel, WHAS 11. This is a WHAS 11 Storm Team Special Report. Good evening, or actually almost good morning here from Kentucky Anna's News Channel, WHAS 11. Update now on that freakish sort of thunderstorm that's rumbled through Kentucky Anna this evening. We have a report of 2,100 homes out of power, actually out of power, in southern Jefferson County in the New Cut and Palatka Road area. Also some storm damage reported up in the Memphis and Charlestown areas in northern Clark County in southern Indiana. That's it for the damage reports at this point, but let's go over to Reed Yaden to get some updates on the uh, storm and the thunderstorm warnings that may be rumbling into other parts of Kentucky Anna tonight. Okay, that's just in, Jeffrey. Uh, a severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Marion County, Kentucky. This will be in effect until uh, 1210. Eastern Standard Time. Presently, National Weather Service uh, Doppler radar indicating a possible severe thunderstorm through portions of Marion County. It's located about six miles west of Lebanon, Kentucky, right down in this area. You can see the leading edge of the heavier activity is presently pressing through central Kentucky. Activity uh, up to the north that is from the metro area north has tended to die down some. The yellow representing some briefly heavy rains, this would be thunderstorm activity. So eastern Marion County, severe thunderstorm warning now until uh, 1210 eastern daylight time. The severe thunderstorm should reach Lebanon by around midnight. Let's put the weather story together here and give you a little more idea of what's going on. First of all, I understand the folks that are without power out around the Iroquois Park area around Palatka and New Cut, lg and &E tells us those 2,100 people should have their power back on in the next 20 minutes or so. Now then, our weather is undergoing changes. It began shortly before 11 o'clock as this line of thunderstorms began to move across the metro area. Winds gusted at Louisville International Airport to about 42 miles an hour during the last hour. Here at our studios in downtown, we had wind gust up around 30 miles an hour, some briefly heavy rains. In fact, a quarter of an inch of rain has fallen up to this point. Now then, let's take a look and focus in a little more on some thunderstorm activity in central Kentucky on the Storm Team Doppler radar. Here is uh, portions of Hardin uh, County. Also, uh, this is Nelson County, actually. And this would be portions of the possible severe thunderstorm complex that we are watching at the present time that's showing up on the Storm Team uh, Doppler radar. Now then, the weather map satellite imagery shows the cold front is through Evansville at the present time, moving in our direction. I'm estimating it'll pass Louisville here around 2 a.m. Now, basically, when the cold front passes, the precipitation will come to an end. What will happen is temperatures are going to be in the 50s here rather rapidly. They'll continue to drop through the 50s during the overnight hour as the cold air behind this front begins to filter in. In fact, our uh, live viewer net report right now here in the downtown area, let me show you exactly what has gone on with the temperature. You see, we have winds out of the northwest right now. The front hasn't passed yet, but winds are northwesterly 10 miles an hour. Look at the temperature. That's a 10 degree temperature drop in about 50 minutes. It was 66, 67 degrees at 11 o'clock. It's 56 degrees right now and falling, and those temperatures are pretty representative all around the metro area. As the uh, thunderstorm activity begins, and it's continuing to move on off to the east, as the thunderstorm activity begins, then the temperature starts to fall. And you can say goodbye to the unseasonably warm weather. So, Jeffrey, that's it as we have it up to the moment here, and we'll keep you informed. All right, thanks so much, Reed Yadin. An update uh, now, just a final update. We've had some power outages, some wind damage, and some potentially dangerous storms that are coming now through Marion County and going to the southeast, uh, according to Reed Yadin. We'll give you an update if there's any necessary. Until, ne until uh, the next time, this has been a special report from the Storm Team, Kentucky and his news channel, WHAS 11.
This has been a WHAS 11 Storm Team Special Report. Stay tuned to the News Channel for more details. Now back to regular programming. The Kentucky Associated Press knows best. WHAS 11, your number one newscast. Barry Burnson, your number one storyteller. Jim Turner, your number one investigative reporter. The WHAS 11 staff, number one in sporting events. Brian Derby, your number one sports photographer. 23 Associated Press Awards. The best newscast, the best people, your best choice. Kentuckiana's news channel, WHAS 11. The WHAS 11 Storm Team, the most weather professional for 70 years experience forecasting Kentuckiana weather. The News Channel, the largest news staff in Kentuckiana. Informing you first from ground to air when severe weather hits. Storm Team Pinpoint Doppler 11 warning you about severe weather when you need it the, the most. most experienced storm practice. The largest news staff. The most advanced weather technology. The Storm Team, exclusively on Kentuckiana's News Channel. WHAS 11, you get the most. There's only one storm team on WHAS 11. This is a WHAS 11 storm team special report. Good morning at uh, 10 minutes after midnight. We'll get back to MASH momentarily. I'm Reed Yaden with the WHAS storm team. I want to update you on some changeable weather. Here's the cold front that's moving in our direction through here probably in about another hour, hour and 20 minutes. Now then, here's the very latest on any severe weather activity. And we have the severe thunderstorm warning for eastern Marion County Council. Let's take a look at next rad Doppler radar, show you all the activity at the present time. Eastern Marion County severe thunderstorm warning canceled now. Marion County dispatch reported nothing more than some briefly gusty winds, heavy rains, no damage out there. Let's focus in on the storm team Doppler radar, show you where some of the heaviest activity is, probably producing some heavy rain. This is Shelby County, moving on down to the south of Shelby County, down through portions of Nelson County. See some briefly heavy rains here, moving all toward the Lexington area. Now then, we'll take a look at a viewer net report. Tumbling temperatures part of this story tonight. This is the viewer net report live from Stewart uh, Middle School. It's 57 degrees out there. That represents a 10 degree temperature drop in the past hour and the cold front isn't even here yet. We have some power outage out around Newcut Road, Palatka Road, in the south part of town. LG&E tells us those 2100 customers should have their power back on, I would say by 1230, according to what they were telling us at the latest according to what they were telling us during the past 20 minutes or so. Apparently it was a blown transformer, the problem. There has been some lightning and thunderstorm activity associated with this line of precipitation as it has moved to the east, but for the most part it's been about a quarter of an inch of rainfall, gusty winds up to 20 to 40 miles an hour. We've had some reports from northern Clark County, Indiana, of some tree limbs down, trees down, and some power outage. These are scattered reports. Also, some of the same reports coming out of Floyd County, Indiana as well, and we are checking those out. At this point, I would not expect any additional severe weather in any part of the viewing area tonight, but we'll stay alert nevertheless. Basically, what we're looking at is a return to seasonal temperatures, and the change is being heralded by the arrival of this line of precipitation. Now, let's take you back to MASH. This has been a WHAS 11 Storm Team Special Report. Stay tuned to the News Channel for more details. Now back to regular programming.